I just spent a thousand dollars. I mean, check that out. That is some phenomenal packaging. You guys know they catch fish super well. Good looking bait, nice feeling material. It's wider, it's bulkier. Oh my God, these things reek. That is one of the weirdest baits. Yo, what's up, members? Welcome out to the Melican Fishing Tackle Garage. As you can see behind me, uh, you know, I don't always make the most responsible decisions. As you can see by the thousands of dollars worth of swim baits hanging on the wall behind me that I can't go throw because we got ice on all our legs. Well, if you guys are similar to me and you spend a lot of money on fishing tackle in the winter when you're all cooped up with cabin fever, this video is gonna be for you. I actually did said thing. I just spent a thousand dollars on all the tackle. This box is loaded the top with tackle. Some stuff that you've never seen before, some absolutely obscene baits, and some stuff that um, is kind of on the DL in the bass fishing community, but as I traveled around to fish with some of these excellent anglers from around the country, they're telling me about a couple of these baits let the cat out of the bag on a few of them that I don't think you guys know about. Plus, we got some new stuff I'm just gonna flat out try in 2021. I'm so excited. Let's get into the box. Oh my God, look at this freaking pile of baits, guys. I need to organize all this before we do anything further. Otherwise, this is gonna take forever. Let's do it. Okay, they're all organized. Let's dive into this mess right here. As you guys notice, there's no six cents fishing baits right here. And I want you guys to know I do use things and I experiment with things outside of six cents. And of course we don't have baits at six cents that are for uh, every single niche of every single bait that's available and every single type of technique that's available on the market. We're working to get there and we're pretty much on our way there. But if I didn't give you guys some honest reviews of a lot of other products in the industry, I don't feel like I have much credibility when I tell you that I go out and I catch them on the six cent stuff and I crush them on that, which you guys have seen plenty anyway. I honestly don't really know where to start with this, but let's just go from the left to my right. Everything in between, I'm freaking jacked. Let's get into it. First things first, I got some boring ones that um, everyone knows about, nothing crazy here. This is the old jackhammer chatter, but you guys know they catch fish super well, but I had to pick up some, some colors that were either restocking my favorites, like this one right here. This is the clear water shad is the color, nice natural shad color, or colors that were hard to find because they get sold out a lot. This is the fire craw. Couldn't get that after a bunch of guys used it in the uh, Bassmaster Classic last year. This one's kind of similar. It's another red craw color, red and, and brown. It's Heights hot craw. Black and blue, of course, can't go wrong there. And then ghost green gizzard shad, another natural shad color that's gonna get bit for us. Next up is a bait and a technique that um, I've used a lot over the years, but I haven't used this specific jig. And when I went out and fished with my new buddy, Mike Iaconelli, I saw just how effective and deadly this bait and this, this exact bait can be in super cold water. And that is the Missile Baits Mini, or not mini, excuse me, the Missile Baits Micro Jig. This is Ike's Micro Jig tiny, tiny, tiny baits. I got the regular one right here and I also got the football jig. It's hard to really, I don't know, put into words how small this jig is, but it's an awesome, awesome, super cold water bait that um, if you got clean water, cold water, it's hard to beat this thing. A lot of you guys down south might not know what I'm talking about when I say cold water, but I'm thinking like, you know, 35 to 45 degrees. These things are a killer. Got them in a couple different colors. This is the Sunfish IPA, nice root beer, a little bit of chartreuse color, peanut butter jelly, good looking bait there, and then I got some in green pumpkin as well. So mixed up the, the different colors we got there. Most of the regular micro jigs were in the eighth or three sixteenths. These football jigs, um, they come all the way up to size three eighth of an ounce, which I really like. That's a bait we can fish down deeper, throw it on a bait caster. You don't have to throw it on a, a little spinning rod or anything like that, which you'd probably throw the uh, regular micro on. But again, Sunfish IPA, green pumpkin, peanut butter jelly, and of course, a couple black and blue guys. Stoked to expand more on that technique here when we get ice off into the pre-spawn. To kind of go along with that, I got some of these guys. These are some baits that I, I kind of got a long time ago and I never did a lot with. Right now, I kind of want to think about doing that with the water super cool. These are the Kitech 
little spiders. I got them in the two inch and the three inch size. Let me take them out so I can show you. But these are a bait that used to be super popular. Um, big, big following on the west coast with the clean water guys. But basically a double tail hula grub. Nothing too out of the ordinary or, or crazy there. They've been around forever. Now these baits used to be made out of a PVC material, which guys said worked better than the new plastic material. But I don't know how you could go wrong. It can't work that much better in the PVC. Maybe a little more durable or something like that. Regardless, this is a tiny little finesse bait. I got them in the two inch and the three inch. This is actually the big size. Let's look at the two inch version. Woo! That's a tiny little guy. Look at that. That is such a finesse bait. I'll probably catch some bluegill and crappie on that thing to go along with bass. When the water is super, super cold, this guy right here definitely can be a player. You guys are probably wondering what the hell you're going to fish that tiny little bait on. I got some jig heads for it actually, um, more Kitech jig heads. These guys should be perfect. This is the eighth ounce size of the Kitech tungsten. Mono, no, this is the fine guard jig head and size number two hook on there. So super, super small hook should fit those Kitech spiders really, really nice. Also got some round head mono guard Kitech jig heads, which will fit the uh, little tiny Kitech swim baits that I'm about to show you. Here they are right here. Nice little restock of Kitex. I haven't used this little tiny 2.8 inch size, but decided that I should go and try them out a little bit. Can throw them on a little tiny underspin, on a little tiny swim bait head. Maybe a couple other methods, you know, drop shot and stuff like that, that we haven't expanded on with that little Kitex swim bait. Got them in the 2.8, 3.3 size. And then of course the 3.8 size has become a mainstay for just about everyone that goes out and throws swim baits. I got all those in rainbow shad color. That's just a nice natural shad color. And honestly, that's what was in stock. I think that's the main reason I picked those up. Let's go to some boring old terminal tackle. Once again, these uh, these owner flashy swimmers. I have picked up a bunch of those. I thought I'd get a bunch in the three out size because I just didn't have that. Those come with a 3 16 ounce weight. And of course, they come with a little blade on the bottom. Those will fit the Kitech 3.3s and 3.8s really, really nice. I'm thinking fishing by themselves around grass and timber, but they'll also work really, really well on a weedless Alabama rig, something I want to expand upon a little bit more this year too. Also got some more wacky hooks. This is my favorite wacky hook, the decoy um, worm 220. Got them in the one out size, three packs of those. Next up, I've been hearing some things, you know, some, some birdie in my ear telling me that I need to go out and pick up some of these Kitech tungsten jigs. These things are, again, more compact than your traditional jig and they have a really, really fine material of the skirting material. So tons and tons of strands in each one. Supposedly they make a different sound because they have tungsten heads when you're fishing rocky bottom areas and people think if you're in a pressured area that can get you more bites. Hey, I'm all about getting more bites so I pick some up. These come in pretty basic colors which isn't a bad thing necessarily. Um, green pumpkin I picked up as well as looks like we got some peanut butter jelly right there very plain peanut butter jelly color nothing crazy right there and then a couple black and blue of course can't go wrong with black and blue all the heads on these are a muted dull unpainted color which looks really nice i think they'll catch some fish for us next up had to pick up some turd style baits from z-man uh and to fish those micro jigs so i thought this would be a really really good craw trailer for those micro jigs because they stand up and they're nice and short. This is the turd craws and it's only a two and a half inch long bait. Got them in a couple good colors, black and blue, green pumpkin and blood worm. Let's pull out one of these blood worms. This is a cool color that I think is going to look really good on one of those natural color micro jigs, but there you go. Nice. I mean, that's a super, super natural. Of course, it's a last tech, so we can stretch it and it won't break or anything. Might be a pain in the ass on the back of the jig. Um, you'll have to super glue it definitely, which I don't like about the Z-Man Elastec stuff, but that kind of comes with it, right? Then of course I had to restock with some uh, three inch turds, nothing crazy there. Okay, these I'm excited about. You know I couldn't put a big order in without picking up some swim baits. That's what we got right here. This is a newer swim bait. It's the Skinny Bear Big Cole swim bait so this is a line through bait it says it is 6.38 inches and 1.8 ounces so a nice medium sized swim bait this bait reminds me a ton of the old bass pro shops xps swimmer that was discontinued then we made the babe swim bait that's been discontinued it's a lot like that it's a line through let's pop one of these guys out of the packaging i got them in four colors this one is the hitch light this is the blue gill good looking gill color this one's called Ghost Minnow. Nice, natural, see-through shad color. I like that there's a lot of secondary 
colors and I don't know if you guys can see that maybe we'll take one out and I'll show you what I'm talking about and then this one is probably the ugliest of all of them and it's probably gonna get bit the best it is called phantom chat so there's a ton of iridescence in this bait hopefully you can see that lots and lots of blues some glitter some green mixed in this one very good looking bait and let's take the bluegill guy out just to, to show you guys what that looks like under the light um, greenish gold top I guess more of a brownish gold top transparent blue white bottom a little bit of orange on the throat good looking bait nice feeling material but the biggest thing on these is going to be if they can have that just incredible head wobble head shimmer that made that bit bass pro shops and the babe both very very good baits that the bass liked i don't know what about that uh, that head quiver and what, what i mean is when this thing comes through the water that head on there like just vibrate super, super tight as the, the tail kicks. It's a super tight wobbling swim bait. It doesn't have the big kick of a paddle tail or a boot tail that a lot of baits have. For whatever reason, the bass, uh, they enjoy that thoroughly. Let's stay with swim baits. Picked up some more Mega Bass um, Mag Drafts. This is one of my favorite smaller swim baits in this size class. These are six inch sizes. Um, I got it in the carp color, which doesn't look much like a carp to me, but it looks badass. Uh, this color is brownie. Good looking bait right there. And then this one is called Gold IU, which looks more like a carp to me than the other ones. But what do you do? And then of course I had to pick one up. Had to pick one up the eight inch size. Check this guy out. This is that same brownie color. This is a really popular uh, gizzard shad imitating color, but really can imitate just about anything in the water that swims. Good looking bait. Nice wide kick on these. They catch fish. So I had to get some more. Staying in that same realm, had to stock up and try some new colors of the Mega Bass 3-inch Spark Shad. Um, yeah, I mean, you can't really go wrong with these things. Another really, really small, subtle swim bait. Fish is great on a single jig head, like that uh, that Kitek tungsten jig head. Our little six cents swim bait head fits great on those guys. This is uh, USA Neon Pepper. USA Baby Bass, which looks like a phenomenal little smallmouth color. I don't know how to say it. H-I-U-O. And then this one's a lot more gold. Um, USA IU. Pretty cool looking color right there. And last but not least, as far as swim baits go, uh, I had to get a couple of the Hazadong shad. You guys see me throw these quite a bit. Uh, nice natural shad color. This is the three inch size. And then this one's called USA Disco Stain. I thought it looked a ton like a little perch. Gonna be a good drop shot, little tiny swim bait uh, for smallmouth especially, I think. Okay, these guys are super, super cool. This is a new depths um, bait. This is a JDM style bait that is a lot like the Strike King Rage Menace, which we use a lot as a trailer. But the thing I like about this one is it's going to fish a little bit more like a crawdad bait because the profile is bigger. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. This is the Depths Lil Rabbit. I got them in Green Pumpkin, uh, Green Pumpkin Blue Flake. And this color, which is a, a smoke color, I didn't, uh, I don't know what the name of the colors are because, well, I need to brush up on my Mandarin apparently. It's kind of weird that it's Lil Rabbit in English and then the colors are all written in Mandarin. <laughs> Whatever though. So here's the bait right here. So as you guys can tell, that is a much more bulbous bait than the Strike King Rage Menace. It's wider, it's bulkier, it's bigger top to bottom, and the legs are somewhere between a Rage Menace and a Rage Craw. Big, flappy legs with a nice little flange on the end there. Should put off some vibration. The Rage Menace to us is a good trailer a lot of times on a, on a jig, but I think this guy is gonna fit a little bit more into the realm of a, a swing head bait or fishing it by itself on a Texas rig. I think it'll fish a little bit better on there than the uh, the Rage Menace does if it has good action. Okay, check these guys out. This This company clearly knows what they're doing with their packaging. I mean, check that out. That is some phenomenal packaging. Definitely meant to catch the fish. Of course, I'm talking about the font. That's a really attractive font that they decided to use. This company is called Black Maria, and this is the Myra? I don't know. That's the Myra, though. Not only is the packaging top-notch, but the bait looks really freaking cool and unique as well. Let me take one of these guys out. It is a tiny, tiny little bait. Look how small this little guy is. It's like a one and a half inch bait 
Looks like a baby crawfish, a little scud. Maybe need to brush up on my insects, but that's a cool looking bait right there. I like him a lot. And as it says on the packaging, the man who has no imagination has no wings. I like it. <laughs> Next up, uh, got a couple more crazy looking little baits. These are Rain's baits. Um, this one is called the G-Tail Twin. Uh, once again, really small, subtle finesse bait. This one has a lot more presence, bigger flappy craws in the water. Gonna fish really well on a jig head or as a jig trailer. Speaking of clean water, this is another super cool bait here. This is the Nashina Lure Works. I, I have a ton of respect for this company. This guy actually carves all of his molds um, by hand. He's an excellent woods woodworksman, but he, he carves the, the molds for his hard baits and for soft baits, but that's a super, super basic shape right there. Um, just a little drop shot minnow. This is called Tennessee Shad, and this is the drop shot minnow. Flat top on there, got a little eye in there, as you guys can see, loaded with salt. I think the smallmouth will love the taste of them, and I'm sure a largemouth will too. Reminds me of the jackal crosstail shad a lot, which is a great drop shot bait. So excited to try those. And then next up, I got a whole bunch of Robo Worm. If you guys watched the tournament videos and stuff last year, we used a ton of Robo Worm products to just get more bites when the, the fishing was crazy, crazy tough. Had to pick up a bunch more of the six inch fat straight tail worm. That's a just phenomenal drop shot bait. It's become probably my favorite large mouth drop shot bait. Um, got them in MM3, nice natural colors, desert craw. Got some four and a half inch, fat straight tail worm those guys are killer and then i had to try out some of these guys as well they have this ned worm i've never tried their ned worm but um supposed to catch some fish so got a couple different colors of those guys as well you'll see those tied on a whole lot on a drop shot and a ned rig for me as we move into this next year we're gonna catch some fish this is one of the most bizarre baits i have ever seen right here Built a little bit of popularity around the country i'm told um because it supposedly catches them really 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 well check this guy out this is called the geek crack bellows gill and it's one of the most bizarre baits i've ever seen in my life comes in i think three different sizes i got the 3.8 and the 5.8 oh my god these things reek and they are slimy slimy guys there it is that is one of the weirdest baits i've ever felt so as you can see the core of the bait has a, a solid piece of plastic that runs all the way through the bait, but these flaps that come on it are all separate. They all move free of each other and, and individually. I mean, look at that thing. How crazy is that bait right there? So that's the 3.8. I gotta get the big one out. I'm excited for the big one. Got the 3.8 in like a uh, watermelon, green pumpkin candy type, or no, green pumpkin bluish green type color. This is more of a green pumpkin candy watermelon type color. Cool looking bait right there. And then I got this one, which is a laminate color. The back is this like subtle, I don't know, green pumpkin, light green pumpkin almost. The front is like a smoke blue. So a nice bluegill imitator. And then check out the 5.8 inch size. Look at that stupid thing. Would you spend money on that? God, that thing is so big and beautiful and sexy and flat. So the, the way I'm probably gonna fish this bait is either on a really light Texas rig um, or even on a keel weighted belly hook because the reason is you want something that glides and is flat like this guy right here to spiral down. So slowly spiral down on the fall, that's what's gonna make this effective. If it's falling super fast to the bottom, it's not gonna look a ton different than anything else. Uh, or even on a Carolina rig, this thing just like slowly gliding, letting all these little tentacles and flaps just kind of wave around in the water current down there. I'm excited to use this bait. It's a weird one, but a lot of guys are catching fish on it supposedly, so let's give it a try. Now, if you haven't heard about this next product, then I'm not even gonna say you've been living under a rock. You're probably completely unconscious. Maybe you're in a coma somewhere, but the old Max Scent flatworm has kind of taken the smallmouth drop shot industry by storm. Now I've used these and I haven't had the, the crazy amount of success. Um, I've caught fish on them, just not more so really than a lot of the other drop shot baits, but they're finally back in stock. So I thought I would pick some up 
If anything, just because they probably go out of stock again and maybe I could sell them on eBay for a bunch of money. Who knows? But I got them in green pumpkin and black. Nothing crazy there. And then I also want to experiment the Max Scent um, with some largemouth this year. And so I picked them up in some chunks. So we got this. Uh, it's called the Meaty Chunk. And I got it in sapphire blue, black and blue, and green pumpkin. Nothing crazy there, but a nice little chunk jig trailer. Now here's something you guys probably never expected to see from me when I'm doing a bass fishing unboxing. I picked up some bobbers. You guys are like, what are that? What, what's that all about? Well, I want to try the float and fly a lot more this year. Once again, another very cold water technique. You guys probably getting the gist of the type of water I'm gearing up for, huh? But cold, clean water under 40 to 45 degrees. Um, everything at once ice out comes, or even late in the fall for for next year, future years. I want to try some 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 float and fly. It's an old school technique with a little tiny fly jig under a slip bobber like this. Something I want to mess with. Picked up some bobber stoppers for him as well. Also got some components. You tackle making guys will like this, but I got some crystal flash and a bunch of different colors. You guys know I love to make my own tackle. These guys will be awesome uh, to add to some jigs, some chatter baits, some spinner baits, and I even want to make some musky baits with those. So I also picked up some of these guys as well. Some some really bright Colorado blades that maybe make some of my own uh, bucktails, inline spinners, stuff like that. See if we can get a big one to eat them. Also needed to see what the rage was about with this bait right here. The old Berkeley Fritz side. If you guys have been watching the tournament scene, once again, this is another bait that a lot of guys have been catching a lot of fish on, especially in cold water or pressured situations. I decided to go out and pick up six or seven of these guys right here. So we got a bunch and some good colors to try. Um, that's a, a good looking pre-spawn color. And then some natural shad colors as well. But basically my thought is with it, these have been out of stock forever as well. I wanted to pick a bunch up now because once they're out of stock, they're gonna be worth something again. And last but not least, before we get to one more mystery bonus item that a subscriber sent me, another cold water crankbait, the old shad wrap. This thing has been around forever. I've caught fish on this thing and early, early, like right when the ice comes out and I've, to be honest, I've like kind of forgotten about this bait a little bit, I guess, but it doesn't fish very well on bait casting tackle. You almost have to use a spinning rod to cast this thing unless you have a super dialed in, a super expensive little crankbait reel. But sometimes you can't catch them on anything else in the ultra cold water. You bust out this guy right here, got in a shad color and of course the old crawdad color, which catches them. That's all the baits I purchased. Let's check out a bonus item now that a subscriber sent me. So a lot of you guys have watched the channel for a long time know this bait right here is flat out one of my favorite baits of all time that I've used in my entire fishing career. I've caught so many fish on this bait. You can see the teeth marks, you can see the hook rash on it. The seven inch baby bass MS slammer. I've won tournaments on it, I've won big fish in tournaments on it, and I've just traveled and caught fish on it everywhere I've gone. Well, one of my subscribers reached out to me and he's like, you got the seven inch size, I wanna send you guys something else to check out. He sent me this guy right here, the nine inch version of the MS Slammer. So now we have the nine inch, which I already have one, but not in this color and has the 12 inch as well hanging up over there. Um, but we got the seven and the nine now, and I appreciate you sending that so much, man. This guy's gonna have a little bit bigger draw. It's a little bit bigger profile and obviously a couple inches longer and maybe something where we need to draw fish a little bit further where there's just bigger fish around. We'll bust out the old nine on them. Well guys, to put it lightly, I have some damn organizing to do with my tackle between this order and all of that, which is loaded with six cent stuff, I'm gonna need like two or three more boats just to put tackle in and store my tackle, let alone on my tackle wall. I don't know, but I'm excited. Let me know in the comments what was your favorite bait you're most excited for me to use uh, in 2021. It's always good to get new tackle and check out new gear and new products and use it. Actually go out and use the new products because that's the only way we learn more as fishermen. So I'm excited to do that and bring that to you in 2021. Thanks for watching this one, Matt Frizzall. I'll catch you very soon. I'm out of here.